All right, so here we are. Everything's totally dry. Gosh, I just cannot get over how pretty this one came out. So, and I didn't even use color shift in these. Can you believe it? But, um, yeah, I, the sun kind of went away. Or maybe a little, maybe it's back, so. I mean, the gold always gives it kind of like a interference, but without the sun really beaming on it, I can't really show you. But I am just overwhelmed with how great this piece looks. They all look great. But I mean, you know, I'm a little... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to paint that up or not, or just, you know, call it some character. But, you know, I finally learned how to kind of get rid of the stripe going in the center. Like, I'm going to stop drizzling around my paintings, I think. So, you'll see more, like, I believe I did this one first. And then I did this one. And then I did this one. So, you can kind of see, like the first and the second one are pretty similar and then the third one you know really is like the showstopper of the piece so but I think this would be great on somebody's wall you know so yeah these are going to go up for sale once I can get re these will be resined I can't wait to get resin on them so all right let's get started I'm going to show you how I did these and then at the end I'm going to show you couple pieces that are coming soon and tell me um, in the comments section if you don't mind tell me which ones you like the most so thanks for watching let's do it All right, so before we get started, I wanted to show you a couple things real quick, okay? So, uh, you know me, I like to repurpose or recycle everything I can, right? So, a cup of paint, sat outside for about three days amongst other colors. I use Glad Press and Seal, and I will keep reusing it until it doesn't stick anymore. But in this case... Um, I didn't have any on hand till I got more from the store. So I saved my gloves. Now look. Okay. If you put your glove over the rim of the cup, these are $2 for a hundred of them at Family Dollar. And it, you know, fits over there pretty good. And just pull it off, and my paint is totally good. Okay. Uh,. I saved my cups, so I have one of two ways, well, I have multiple ways of getting the paint out of the cup. So first thing I do is I'll either take a palette knife or my fingernails and I'll scrape around the rim just like this real quick, okay? And that breaks it free from the rim of the cup. Um, when, you, when you're pouring, don't scrape the paint out of your cups. Um, so like here, I use these cookie cutters that I got from the from Dollar Tree, and when the paint gets down low, I'll just take the cup and stand it like, or I'm sorry, tilt it on its side like that, and let the paint run down, and then I'll pour whatever you know collects in there out of the cup, and then I stand the cup up and I put it in a box and I wait for the paint to dry and cure, and then when it's dry like this. Then I either start it with my fingernail. Usually that's about how it goes. You can use a palette knife. Um, you can get the little like dental instruments from Harbor Freight. They're, I think they were like $3 or something for the pack of them. Uh, Cricut tools, that works too. But, you know, the paint pulls right out. Just like that. Then you have always have what's left on the bottom usually. Sometimes I can get it all to come out at once. Sometimes I can't. So, of course, now that I'm trying to show you guys, 
<laughs> of course, it doesn't want to come out. But yeah, this is kind of like my little jar of tricks when it comes to that. So I have one like this and I just reach in and I mean, you got to mess with it for a little bit, but eventually it will pull up. And once you get it going, you either reach your fingernail down in there, you know, or you just grab a hold of it and all out. If there's anything left down there, I either reach in with my fingernail and scrape it off or a palette knife or whatever. If you really are OCD like me, <laughs> then everything comes off around the rim. I have managed to convince myself that there is no point to take the paint off the outside of the cup for a while. Like I was like, well, I'm doing a video. I don't want people to look at my dirty cups. And my boyfriend comes in and he was like, really? Like, you've got to be kidding me, right? And I was like, yeah, I guess I am a crazy lunatic, so I'll just leave it. <laughs> so that's what I did. Anyway, done deal. So we'll be pouring with this cup tonight. And then, like I said, I have that other cup. Oh, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Is it right in front of my face? No. No. All right. I'm going to pause you guys while I find my lost cup. Because I don't know where I put it. And when I come back, we'll be ready to get started. Alright, so, yep. The, <laughs> the cup was right in front of my face, as usual. So, this one, um, just like the other. I just run around, run my fingers around. Now, sometimes, you know, it gets a little caked up. God, and I hate when paint gets under my nails. That's like dried paint. <laughs> So it really just pulls right out. And then, you know, if I have anything left behind, then I can go in with the hook or, you know, but for the most part, if you let it, if you, if you let your paint sit in a box for a week, don't stack them on top of each other, just stack them next to each other. But if you let them sit in there about a week, they'll pull out just this easy. I think there's a little, yeah. So every once in a while, you know, I gotta like scrape a little piece out or whatever. But hey, I'm trying to do my part. I'm trying to, this is on the outside. I'm trying to do the best that I can to recycle everything. Because if you figure how, how, uh, how many people are doing this now, and if everybody's experimenting, and everybody's using cups, and everybody's just throwing them away, that's got to be awful, you know? Anyway, uh, there is something on Golden's website about how to properly dispose of paint. But the problem is, is that every state has a different regulation. So you can start there. They do have a directory of resources. My particular state in Delaware, we have a hazardous waste drop off, but they don't consider acrylic hazardous waste. So my recycling guy personally said that he would take my cups with the paint in them and, but he couldn't give me a definitive answer. So I am waiting to hear whether or not that was true, you know, that they can recycle my paint with the cups. But for now, you know, this is, this is what I'm going with. colors is metallic cobalt blue with thalo green and artist loft green flow acrylic mixed in there i got it to the consistency that i wanted it really looks like a sea green more i added oh yeah and i added some metallic blue to make it a little more on the turquoise side i'll I had it I had it draining and I will let the cup dry just like this and then just pull the paint right out. Then I have black artist loft low acrylic, white from yesterday, so I will pour it, the rest of it into here. Uh don't, you know, like I said, even if you're not going to um even if you're not going to pull paint out of your cups, 
I wouldn't suggest scraping your cups either because if you have paint that sat overnight, there's a whole bunch of hard gunky stuff that gets on the outside or on the, you know, above where the paint is sitting and you're never going to be able to break it up. So if you scrape your cup, it's going to put all those chunks into the new cup. So I have orange, which this is metallic orange and copper mixed together. So it gives it kind of like a more, uh, kind of like a more burnt orange, like, and this is quinacridone magenta, copper, and old gold mixed together. And it gives it just a real light, kind of like a rouge, rosy color. <coughs> Excuse me. Unbleached titanium. And then this is copper and gold mixed together so there's a lot of similar colors but when you see the painting that I well you've already seen it but when you see the video of how I made the painting last night this one it was pretty necessary to give it that gradient look there's already silicone and unbleached titanium from yesterday so that'll go in there um, but yeah, it will go into the green. It'll go into, sometimes I can get this to balance just right. There we go. But yeah, it'll go into all these colors right here. Well, maybe not, maybe not this one, but these three. And so this is almost nine ounces. I will probably put two drops of silicone in each color so did I, <laughs> I do this all the time to myself all right one two one two now this guy i believe had silicone in it but, yeah, we're not going to add any more. I can see it sitting in there. All right. That guy's done. One, two. If your paints have sat overnight, you know, your, your silicone settles. So it'll float to the surface. So you always want to stir your paints up again as if you're just adding it for the first time. So I just stick my stick in one, two, three, four, five, just like that. And I'll lightly scrape around the edge just to get whatever paint was, you know, clinging to the edge into the center. So silicone can coat that as well. All right. But yeah, that's what that color looks like. Now. Make sure you could see that. See the mound? How it dissipates? It stays there for a minute, but then slowly goes away. That's what I'm looking for. That guy actually thickened up on me, but we'll go with it. Now, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. I always do a one-to-one -one ratio, no matter what. It's very thin. It's been thinned with an acrylic thinner. I don't know exactly what the consistency is or exactly how much, you know, uh, mica powder as a ratio, but I do know that it's the first paint to almost break apart out of all the other colors. So I try to keep it as thick as I can without making it too thick. Because it still is unbleached titanium, you know? But yeah, one part paint to one part medium, and I go real light on the water flow aid mix. Quinacridone magenta is also a lighter paint, a uh, lighter density paint. So that gets like a one to, I mean, my, my norm is usually like one part paint to one and a half parts medium, but I fluctuate based on the density of the paint. And that's my own preference paints that are lighter in the viscosity I'll use like maybe one to one and a quarter 
parts medium. And then copper we know is really heavy. So you have a heavy and a transparent. So this would actually get close to the one part paint, one and a half parts medium, maybe a little less. The copper and the orange is definitely going to be an opaque paint. So that would get the one part paint to one and a half parts medium. Same thing with uh, the metallic cobalt blue and the phthalo green. That's also an opaque. Both of them are opaque colors along with the unbleached titanium. So... All right, let's do this. Here we go. I'm going to try to do this cleaner than the other one I did yesterday. I'm just going to be a little more intricate with it. Part of me is saying to mix up a little more gold. You know what? Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. All right, I think that was a good move. So... But I didn't put silicone in the gold. So, as you can see, that's what that looks like. Okay, so gold is also another very opaque color. And it will take over, too. A lot of the times when I'm, when I'm doing a pour, like I have something in my head. But 90% of the time, I don't get it. <laughs> I try, and I refuse to give up on that theory, but it's almost like the thrill of the hunt. You just never know what you're, you know, you never know exactly what is going to be as soon as you lift that cup. All right. Oh, and I pick up and I twist. It actually rolls the paint back over the edge. So, like, I'll do it again, all right? So I'm pouring, twisting, then I come up, I roll it like that. Green will also highly overtake all of your stuff, so go easy with it. We have the black. So will black. Black will overtake as well. Actually, a lot of dark colors will overtake predominantly. I made olive green the other day by mixing black and yellow together. And I noticed a similar hue when I added the gold. So that's kind of my method to my madness here. A little more copper. I just, I love the way that looks with the gold and the black together. All right. Oh, I just wiped that. <laughs> All right. So that's 12 ounces because that'll really tell me, you know, if I need to add like a partial base coat, you know, after I flip my cups, then how do I want to do this? You know, like that. I think. Yeah. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. Go up. Back. Oh, look at that, you guys. Go down and up. I don't want to pour too much out because I do need to get my corners. Maybe a little ribbon. What do you think? Break this up right in here. Something. I don't know. <laughs> if I need to mix up another color of paint, I will. But let's go up. Go back. Come to the center, go that way, and that way, 
and then back into the center. Maybe a little green. Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just on the outside so I can get just a, just a little bit, a little help. Let me turn it down a little bit. What do we got? Give me something good. Let's see what we got. Um, all right, so let me go up here. Sliding along. down over here Come on, come down even. Come on, please. All right. Okay, what do I want to do with this? I'm going to stop, I think. 12 ounces of paint was um, definitely, for the thickness that I'm using recently, I probably could have gone to 14 ounces of paint. Really, in all actuality. All right, here we go. That is so pretty. It's just like a rainbow. You have orange, you have pink, then it goes to a purple, and then to a green, maybe even almost like a blue, and then black. Wait till you guys see when this gets darker. That's going to be crazy. Yeah, 
we'll see what happens. You know what? I do think I have a little gold, though, left from the other pour. And I just, I like doing that. Putting in that gradient look, you know? Or, um, I'm sorry, like a color shift look from the gold. So I'm going to do the one cup, and then I'll speed up the other. So you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do the same thing twice. There is silicone in all the colors except for the white and the black. Let's finish it off with a little bit of white, I think. This is where I'll speed up the next one. cells ridiculous amounts of cells yikes okay okay I'm done I promise <laughs> Eek. I feel like I have to compensate for all that pink over there hopefully that was a good decision <sighs> Look at that. It is unbelievable. Okay. Let's go around in a circle for a second. Spread everything around. Well, actually, you know what? No, I'm going for it right here. Okay. Bring my 
center back. It's been a while since I poured, so. take too much off but I had to get some of that off. Now I'm just gonna try to recenter my stuff. I'm sliding. <laughs> it's the canvas is sliding because my I got paint on my a lot of paint on my fingers. Look at that. Oh man, you guys. I am really excited about this one. This is beautiful. I just want to pour off this corner right here. Please, let me pour it off. <laughs> It's freaking awesome. It's just, it's like it's glowing. I can't wait to see what this looks like when it starts to dry. All right, let me, uh, yeah, let me take care of this and I'll get you guys in for the close up. I don't even want to stretch them. I am afraid. <laughs> I just know what can happen. And I just think I should, like, maybe I can hear you guys yelling at me through the TV. <laughs> you like a premonition or something? Leave it! Leave it! <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to leave it. Oh, I don't even want to look at it. Because the more I look at it, the more I'm like, let me fix uh, this, you know? Or let me just do... <laughs> And then before I know it, boom, it's gone. I lost my core <laughs> objective. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. Oh, I just turned the brightness up, sorry. <laughs> Oh 
That's just amazing. Oh man, look at that. I'll tell you what, maybe 10 days of a break paid off. <laughs> It's like a rainbow, but a different kind of rainbow. You know, I could have not rushed it, and I probably could have kept my cells better up in here, but I'm not complaining. Not by a long shot. All right. Last and final piece. So this will complete the triptych. So let's do like that and like that. Now I'm going to do something a little different here. Hopefully it works out. Bring them together and bring them back. Big bubbles and then going around, popping all the little bubbles. You don't want to hold heat for too long. Wow, that is really cool looking, isn't it? See that? Huh. Uh, just like the last time, I want to make sure I have enough paint to spread around. So I'm going to go around in a circle here and then grab my popsicle stick and spread it out a little bit. So I'm basically pushing in and pulling out. Kinda the method to my madness here. Right? There we go. Maybe right through there like that, like that. Voila. Alright. There we go. Okie dokie. Oh, let me uh, pop the bubbles over here. So I went in there and there and there. Okay. Alright. So let's go up. And over. Okay. Bring it back down to the center, bring it up and over, but on this side, right? Okay. Just 
center it again. Now I'm coming down. I'm going to start bringing it back over. You know what? I need, yeah, this guy right here. down for a minute. Come on. Oh my gosh, you guys. I think this might be the best one yet. Do not want to lose all that gradient cells. Okay, here we go. Wow. That's all it needed was just a tiny bit more paint. I'm no done 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 that is so freaking beautiful <laughs> ah! <sighs> now you guys I'm sure have been watching me long enough to know that some things I get really excited about and other things I get ecstatic about and I am just so happy with this. This will be my centerpiece, I think. That is just gorgeous. Yes? What do you think? Wow, 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 wow. Let's show you. This is just perfect. This just this kind of thing just hardly happens to me, you guys. But I just love it. The gradient, the composition is it's all there. It's perfect. Now watch a big fat bug land in it or something. Like that's that's my luck, right? <laughs> so God, if you're listening, please keep all bugs away from my painting. My goodness. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is just a rainbow of cells. You've got orange, pink, green, purple. There was no purple happening in here today. My goodness. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for sticking with me. And I hope you enjoyed this piece. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will consider it. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.